we have now entered into another dimension, whether you believe it or not, whether you know it or not, there has been a spiritual and seasonal shift and it is God. It is God. We are about to see things that we have never seen before. For those who believe, it is going to be good and it's going to be things that you have never seen before. For those who do not believe, it's going to be bad and it's going to be things that you have never seen before. For the believer, we are going to rejoice because we know that God's word is true. We are seeing the word of God become the living word and the prophecies being fulfilled. The Bible says for us to rejoice because we know it's coming to pass and that the promises of God will be fulfilled in our lives. Every prophetic word that you have received, it shall come to pass. God is not a man that he should lie. But for those who chose to turn their face away from God, they're going to experience his judgment. And part of his judgment is them watching the sowers reap them watching God manifest his glory in our lives and they're going to be brought down. Mark my words, in the next few weeks and months, we are going to see things that we've never seen before. And it's going to be scary for those who are unbelievers. From the time of 2020, God was doing a separation. The Holy Spirit revealed that he was separating dark from light. He was giving people between 2020 and now he was giving people the opportunity to choose who they will serve. It was all fun and games when they were following their idols. Things were going well for them. And it seemed like they were able to get away with murder. It seemed like they were able to get away with things. A lot of us have asked God and inquired of the Lord, why do these people seem well? Why do these people, these evil people seem to be prospering? But the Bible says, fret not thyselves of evil doers for their time will soon come where they'll be cut off. This is that time we're about to watch people get cut off. And it may be people that you would least expect. They may have said that they represented God, but they were of their father, Satan and they represented destruction. God sees every evil deed that goes on behind closed doors. God sees every evil deal that goes on and people actually think or have thought that they could get away with it. But God's judgment, God's wrath is about to hit their home and they're gonna watch God magnify his light, his glory, on the earth through his agents, through his ambassadors, through his chosen ones. This is why God kept you for such a time as this. This is why God had to test you because he wanted you to be tried and true. The Bible talks about the testing and the trying of our faith. It's for us to be solid. It's for us to be anchored in him, for us to be rooted and grounded in him because God doesn't want you to waver God doesn't want you to have a love for the things of this world or for money and chasing the bag, getting all these worldly things, and then you lose your soul in a process. You can lose your soul. You can lose your salvation. God can blot your name out of the Lamb's book of life. People think once they're saved, they're always saved. That is not true. The moment you decide to live in sin, a life of sin, and you're not practicing righteousness anymore, you have made your commitment. You have to make a commitment to God. It's not that you will be perfect, but it's allowing him to perfect you daily. You keep dying to self. If once saved, always saved was true, then no one will go to hell. There are those who people wouldn't even think because it's a matter of the heart. You could believe in your mind that you're saved, but if it ain't in your heart, then you ain't saved because it's a relationship. It's just like a marriage. We are married to Christ. And the moment that we make a commitment to someone else or something else other than him, that's grounds for divorce. Marriage on earth is only an example of our marriage to God. You can't fool God. If your heart is not for repentance and getting it right, then it, there is no once saved, always saved. You can't be saved through your praying grandmother or mother. It may help, but that is not your ticket to salvation. God is doing a shift for him to give people an opportunity to make their decision. We choose. God doesn't put people in hell. People choose to go to hell. 
because they love the things of this world so much. So choose ye this day who you will serve. You can't serve two masters, but God wants to give you an opportunity to experience his glory while there's still time. Otherwise, his judgment is right around the corner. And unfortunately, there's going to be some things much worse than the pandemic. But he's trying, he, he wants to position his people. He wants to position those to experience jubilee and not judgment. It's not God's will for any man to perish. But people choose. People have bitterness in their heart. People have hatred in their heart. People have unforgiveness in their heart. And it causes them to lust after the things of this world. So this is the time to draw close to God. This is the time to hearken unto his voice and make sure that you are attentive. You're vigilant, sober-minded because God doesn't want you to miss it. And God wants to position you to experience his glory in this time. In the time of famine, in the time of flood, in the time of fire. All of those things are going to happen. And it's only the ones who hear from God who have direct communication and intimacy with God that's going to be kept so watch and see mark my words we're going to see things that we've never seen before eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered into the hearts of man of humanity what the Lord has in store for you for those who love him